What's going on guys? Uh, yes, I'm in the kitchen. What we're gonna do today is talk about counting calories and how to, ha how to actually count calories. So, what you'll need of course is a MyFitnessPal phone app and you'll need a weight scale. Like, yes, I do say that using portion size guides, it does work and it is an effective means of counting your macronutrients and calories. However, I'd contend that this is the best way to do it. It's, it's really specific and I can get a lot more uh, quantitative data about you and your food. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat uh, this this special fried rice here that's been pre-prepared and is actually just a home-cooked meal. Now, I know it's really hard to track home-cooked meals and that's why I picked this. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, I've also got these two tuners that I'm just gonna scan, uh, weigh. I don't even have to weigh them because they're portioned already, but I'll weigh up that, that home-cooked meal. I'm gonna show you how I go about doing that. Okay, so I've got my scale here and I've got this. I need a bowl, I need a bowl. All right, so I need a spoon too. Okay, so I've opened the rice. You don't have to know how to put rice in a bowl. Oh, do you know how to... Okay, I'm asking you lucky here, but you're not. So, if you don't know how to tear or tar or whatever the thing, the scale, you just put the scale, or you put the thing on top of the scale, and it will come up with how heavy the scale, or how heavy that is, the bowl. Then you have to press tar. If you've ever cooked anything before, you know how to do this. Then what you have to do is just put, put as much as you want. So, well, as your calories would allow. So, I'm going to put... That's way too much. Sorry, Mum. I'm watching this thinking I'm putting shit back into the whoop swirl. Putting stuff back into the the bowl here. Whatever. 250 grams. Now you're probably thinking, what do I do with that data? 300 grams? That's weird. Well you grab this and you and you go into your MyFitnessPal app, okay? Over here. Hello notifications. 300 grams of this home prepped special fried rice, right? So what the hell? What I would recommend you doing is picking a fried rice from this database. So all you have to do is search um, special fried rice. And I've already got one that I usually use here. Uh, it's actually Uncle Ben's special fried brown rice. And I just pop 300 grams in there. Like, that looks crap. And then after I've clicked add food in that little tick up here, you just have to tick it and click tick and you're done. But I think what you're all concerned about is like, well, how do I do this? Like, how long does this take? This does not take long at all. All I did was put a scale I put it, it got a scale and I put a bowl on top of the scale and I just weighed it out and put the data in there. Now, scanning food, it's the best. So all I have to do is click this little scan button in the top. So I've got this little tuna thing here and I just scan it. Hurrah, it comes up with exactly what it is. I click tick and it's added to my diary. So then I add both of those into my bowl of special fried rice and I'll add some more stuff. Hope you found that video informative. It is quite short and brief and I did waffle a lot. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if that helped, great. You should really start counting your calories. Just obviously, there's a bunch of behavioral things wrong with, like not wrong with it, but factors that can affect it. Like if you're really obsessive, it's not something that I would consider you do. But if you can manage um, and use that, then this is what's going to be such a big difference in your physique, in your performance, uh, and I'd argue your health too, because it really keeps you on top of on top of your vegetable and fruit intake, along with your water and your fiber too. Thanks, guys. Speak to you in another video.